I was walking around here, pacing back and forth, trying to think of something to talk about in this TGS Life video. And I, uh, I, I thought to myself, I had a moment of, um, of panic, really, where I thought, what if I'm just out of observations? What if I, I'm just totally dry? I'll never say anything, even the least bit approaching original ever again. Uh, you know, if I ever have to begin with. But I'll, I'll not, I'll, I'll have just nothing to say, no sort of like pithy little twist I can put on things. It's just all gone. And, uh, and I was scared for a moment. And then I realized I don't have to worry about it because I can just steal other people's stuff and change it around just enough and present it as my own and get away with it because plenty of people do that. You know, that's, that's just a means of survival out there. You know, some people are, are bad at it. You know, like there's, there's a Reddit, you, Carlos Mencia. Everyone knows that guy is a fucking thief. He's a joke thief. Which, you know, is like a big deal. So, um, <laughs> uh, you know, but, but there's plenty of guys out there that, and women, whatever, they're out there, they steal. Most people kind of know they steal, but, you know, as long as they do it cleverly enough, you can't really directly call them out on it. First of all, like, Carlos Mencia, he stole a shit ton of his material from, um, George Lopez. He stole a huge amount of material from George Lopez, and then, you know, just did it as if it were his own. You know, so it's blatant. Everyone can see, like, oh, you fucking thief. That's not how you do it. You gotta go around to a bunch of different fucking sources, steal things, reword them, rework them, you know, change the delivery up a little bit. Then you can steal the joke. You know, you mix and mash like that. You know, that, that's, that would basically be what I'd have to do. I haven't had to do that yet. There have been times I've been accused of stealing jokes from, um, like, George Carlin and Bill Hicks, but that's usually just been subconscious, uh, well, it's always been subconscious, uh, mimicry going on there. Not anything where I'm deciding, like, oh, that's a funny joke George Carlin did, I'm gonna take that and rework it a little bit. And there have been times when I've expanded upon certain uh, routines those comedians did. You know, because I'll think of new observations and then I'll kind of just, it, you know, extend uh, and expand upon whatever they built. But I haven't had to steal anything yet. But I'm looking forward to that now. Because, you know, I think that that's when things are going to get a lot better. You know, when I'm not encumbered by relying on my shitty originality. Once I can just steal, I mean, because I have pretty good taste, you know, I, once I'm stealing other people's shit, then I'm going to get really good because then it's, it's just going to be other people's A material instead of my, like, B or C material. You know, and then... You know, that's when the fucking real money starts pouring in. That's when I'm the host of the fucking Tonight Show and shit.